Le Sommet international de l'éducation du futur réunit une soixantaine de conférenciers du monde entier. Des pionniers et des innovateurs issus du monde de l'éducation, bien évidemment, mais également des êtres inspirants, issus des chemins de sagesse ou des chemins d'apprentissage et de créativité dans différents domaines. Les arts, les sciences, l'économie, le lien avec la nature, le sport, etc. Des expériences et des chemins de vie qui sont un formidable enrichissement pour le monde de l'éducation. Le professionnalisme des traductions, en simultané, et l'incroyable richesse de toutes ces conférences offre un horizon de point de vue vaste et varié, très complet, qui en font au final une véritable formation professionnelle pour les enseignants, les éducateurs et tous les professionnels de l'éducation, mais également une formation à la parentalité consciente et une formation individuelle à la vie consciente. Face à toute cette richesse et aux divers retours, nous avons décidé d'offrir toutes ces conférences à tous, partout dans le monde en français et en anglais, quelquefois en allemand et en espagnol. Découvrez la vision d'acteurs audacieux et influents du changement, vers un monde éthique, solidaire, généreux et profondément respectueux de tous, des cultures, des peuples, des règnes et de la planète. Un incroyable panel de conférences, couvrant toutes les dimensions de l'éducation, pour un futur ayant du sens, une humanité épanouie et une terre qui respire. Une chose est sûre, votre vie, et à travers vous, celle des enfants, ne sera plus la même après avoir écouté toutes ces conférences. Pour avancer, nous avons besoin de vous. Nous avons besoin de votre générosité solidaire. L'organisation du sommet et l'édition des conférences ont nécessité des milliers d'heures de travail et nécessitent encore beaucoup de temps et d'investissement. Nous faisons appel aux dons libres et spontanés pour compléter le financement du sommet et, si possible, continuer à l'enrichir de nouvelles conférences. Votre soutien est vraiment précieux et vital pour aller jusqu'au bout de cette aventure extraordinaire. Merci. So we're here together for two hours uh, with uh, Philippe and uh, um, our project. So I'm delighted to welcome you here amongst us. Uh, uh, Philippe, uh, Philippe is working within the national also uh, uh, there, and he will present all this uh, and all the work he did uh, on uh, the study of the global heating. It's, uh, Uh, of the sort, so uh, within the school context, school adventure, and that enables him to touch upon a lot of disciplines, a lot of subject matters in the classroom, and especially it also enables him uh, to carry out a lot of experiences within this project, um, and uh, this up to the north, the far north, uh, so uh, with the icebergs, uh, etc. So there are a lot of things that he will be able to tell us all that, what he's doing in the national education system. So thank you, Philip, for being here. What do you need? Can you all hear me perfectly? Brian, je t'entends. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Je, je salue Valérie. So I would also like to welcome Valérie, who will be taking the floor once uh, um, ready. Also, I would like to welcome Clément from Normandy, a youngster who will also share uh, with us and with uh, full heart this magnificent human and scientific adventure. And also Harmony just uh, greeted everyone is in the she's living in the region of Reims. I'm of course uh, very happy and very enthusiastic to participate um, in this international summit on education for the future. 
would you like uh, to join the meeting? Yeah, later on, later on. Okay. Abel presented to you in a few words uh, what I'm doing. So I'm also a father, above all, of a young girl who will also be taking the floor later on. Just uh, like other youngsters will be talking about uh, their teachers, educational advisors, etc. We have to give them the floor because the new paradigm for which I heard a lot of beautiful things well, are taking roots in the place we give to the potential, the potential of our youngsters. In other words, taking into consideration what our youngsters are asking from us for the future. And um, also asking to the youngsters, but also asking life what is asking Life is asking from us uh, to the earth, to the planet, what the planet is asking us for itself and for biodiversity. This project Cap Honor started about three years ago. Uh, here it was a, an, an awareness. Uh, it would become as uh, aware of the heating up uh, of the planet, uh, a crisis, climatic crisis and also becoming a member of a society that stands to think about this. And so we chose together with adults, with other teachers involved in education, such as Valérie Lavandier, but also with the heads of schools, also uh, research uh, workers. What we could do to make our children familiar with all these uh, uh, topics. It started three years ago. The, 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 um, the, 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 in the partner institutes uh, in the hexagon in the, uh, they're, they're the polar researchers, but also the, the, the other people who went to look up the teachers, young people also, and uh, finally they witnessed. Uh, of their experience, what they've seen, the, what they experienced, what they touched upon with their hands, but also the view they had and how their hearts reacted. And Myra uh, was a student living in the suburbs of Paris. She, she uh, was looking for a research work, but yes, but where do we have to go in order to understand the deregulation of the climate? Where do we have to go? So she was enthusiastic about it. How can we understand this better? And so the research worker went, was in the classroom, looked at her and says, yes, it's a marvelous question. If you really want to understand the de climatic deregulation, that you shouldn't go uh, to many, many places. Just go to the Arctic or to the Antarctic, and there you will see for yourself with your own eyes what is going on for the planet. And Myra uh, turned to, to me and she said, okay, we have to go, we have to go to Greenland. Uh, so uh, I'm normally a teacher who listens, that tries to accompany the different projects. Uh, the, 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 uh, I was taken by my own, I fell into my own trap. And I told her, I see what I can do. And then all of very progressively with other partners uh, and with uh, parents of pupils, we try to draw up, to elaborate an expedition. And this expedition is really taking roots on the topic of this uh, meeting. So giving the best of you for the rest, not trying to be the best, but the best of yourself for the others. So we started to meditate on this. And this gives you the better for the whole, rather than being the better just only for yourself. And Valerie, in a couple of minutes, uh, she will also uh, come in on this magnificent role she played and which she still has uh, today. And uh, to, to really to talk to the youngsters and to try and release their potential. So giving uh, the best of yourself for all the people surrounding you. 
So it exists within the pupil, within the parents, also within, I would say, the, the adult who is responsible for education. Now, if we continue or we we'll stick to a very elite kind of education, we are mistaken because we are subtracting ourselves from the normal movement of life. We're getting away, uh, we're moving away from diversity. And I'm um, giving this very straightforward example. Each, each and every one can understand it. It's a, for instance, to, to contemplate what is happening in your garden and to see, for instance, that live is moving its uh, it's taking on a uh, format of cooperation rather than competing with one another just by merely looking at the garden. So what is the reason? Well, our school systems, and here um, in Switzerland uh, for the time being, but why our system and why we want to go and look of the best, the best of what and why, and why do we look for the best? Um, and here our DNA in, and what makes up the project uh, Cap au Nord. Here we have to see that there's confusion on what is the best. It's not to choose, and Valérie uh, will extend on that, it's not to choose the, the, the best, but as a matter of fact, uh, to create this dynamism that is going to look for the best in each and every member. And what does it mean to give the best of yourself? What does it mean? It's a simply to be closer to, uh, to these aspiration, to these dreams, and to discover that uh, being close to these aspirations, to these dreams, uh, the, the, to your personal project, that you enter into a kind of dynamism of uh, kindness, a very positive dynamism, and very enthusiastic as well. I believe it's uh, therefore very important within the heart of this summit on education for the future to, to dare playing about uh, joy and enthusiasm. And this enthusiasm will meet another enthusiasm and yet another one and so on and so on. And this really defines uh, the Caponau project. There's the synergy which is thus created. And this, this synergy is associating talents, competences, and um, which uh, has the ambition of a crazy project, the one of pretending to organize the edition with 16 youngsters this year who will live in full autonomy, accompanied by adults, but they themselves will set uh, uh, gestures as uh, members, full members of the expedition, and uh, not really, uh, really actors and uh, authors. Um, and um, they, they have the intimate uh, convic conviction that the freedom of action of a child is also in the consideration by the adults for the dimension of the author it has. The dimension of the author is being capable of thinking for yourself, also to act uh, by yourself, and to let uh, what you are deploy and grow what you really are, and to not only a soldier or someone who is going to execute, to follow up uh, orders, a particular plan dictated by another person, and uh, who is, is superior. And um, I see a reaction by Pascal. That is really what is the heart of things now. So it's discovered this capacity of being the author of your own life in human sciences, in educational sciences, there was this very interesting concept of, of how to become the author. Authorization, it's a real question. And uh, of course, uh, just uh, take and become aware that the DNA Capono resides in this principle of how to be an author. 
and uh, Clément will also take the floor at about uh, half past three, and, and also uh, another classmate. He will be talking about this dimension of being an, uh, an author. Are we authors and actors that respond to, to prescriptions made up, drawn up by adults? That's the way we have to act, etc., etc. Or is there room for us to set free our talents, our competences, and especially to be capable, as young as we are, to respond to daily or to contemporary challenges. Abel, you mentioned earlier on that the entry, the door to enter is Capono, is the uh, climatic change. And here I'm talking from Switzerland, I also uh, went to an open school and we were able to build up a protocol on the melting of the ice. And so we see a, a, a youth which is thinking, which is thinking through all this and immediately you, you see they, they see the consequences of the uh, climate heating and I also see this when I'm uh, traveling I see a uh, young people with a lot of potential and with all of these things in mind of course this depends on uh, the, the, the the fact that they're also meeting with adults and uh, these multiple intelligences and if the child uh, who is free of spirit proposes something, but is then during a one year, two year, or several years, is uh, being prevented from doing th uh, things, well, this child will feel very unhappy in the system he finds himself in. And um, we, uh, as we move on, we have to develop our talents and he will be able to achieve something what he himself is in order to have or to carry out a very positive action on the future of the world. So the stakes of uh, Cap Ono, it will also enable uh, fundamental experiments. So it's to reconnect uh, with the living uh, as uh, at a very young age and uh, that uh, le vivant, the living is a model of teaching. You can even see a school and uh, the living is also the uh, nature around you and it's also the context, the place uh, where you can live through these experience of well-being, of uh, letting go of trust and those experiences of knowing yourself. Knowing yourself, well, you know, it can be a model according to three axes uh, as a triangle, as a matter of fact. A triangle that is articulated between the relationship you have uh, to yourself, uh, so uh, a kind of introspection. And then yet another relation is the relation of you with the others, how the others will be capable of uh, telling me more about myself. I hear I'm going to poet Christian Bobin who says living is being seen in a view of love, is being, you see that we depend on the quality, on what the others think of us, of how they see us and their first yourself to yourself, then the others vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis yourself and yourself towards the other. And then the third one, the extraordinary important uh, uh, thing, and which is forgotten in our education system, we should mention that it's a relation uh, between you and the, uh, the, the surrounding nature. And in the framework of my research, I work on the relation of the, the, the child, the student, yourself, the relationship with nature. And I'm working on the relationship of the pupil with his interior life. Today, in our educational system, do we, do we give some room? Do we create some room for the sensitivity? Or don't we do, or don't we give uh, room to it at all? And uh, all these are real questions. So, <clears throat> during 15 minutes, I have already shared a lot of intimate convictions and intimate beliefs of a model of education. 
and uh, which is talking about the relation to yourself, to others, to nature. And I presented, uh, uh, and uh, I already presented to you, sorry, Valérie, a quarter of an hour ago. And I would like to ask Valérie to share with us uh, what she's doing, how her uh, briefing in the project Cap Nord, and how, well, about two years ago, uh, with 180 youngsters, uh, we picked up 14, and how this year Valérie and her team uh, during weekends uh, were able to pick uh, to choose 16 youngsters who were going to Iceland this uh, summer. Valérie, you have the floor, and uh, then I'll come back to you in a few minutes' time. So you have the floor, Valérie. Thank you, Philip. Uh, so good afternoon, all uh, people online. So yes, I had very lucky, I had this opportunity in participating in this Caponar project, um, which uh, enables a group of young people who act as ambassadors and to be in contact with nature to discover this link, this involvement in climatic uh, uh, heating and also to give the best of themselves for the whole not being the best themselves but to contribute to something which is much harder than themselves. And my role in this structure was to help them to support the profile, the most appropriate ones uh, um, regarding this very complex matter. Taking about 100, about 100 youngsters, I was able to observe them and then also try to recognize their competences and also to to see what was the potential in each one of them vis-à-vis -vis the project uh, Philip elaborated together with the Caponor team and so which is to live about 10 days in full autonomy in nature and in parallel also to carry out uh, some scientific uh, experiments uh, also the scientific relay uh, so here we have to develop of course uh, a competence or you also need some uh, seeds of competence uh, regarding scientific uh, subject but also some competences of organization of life uh, living in teams uh, of giving one's one another assistance helping being respectful of the other so all these competences which are absolutely uh, necessary for living in a group uh, and um, observing also in the world of education it's not sufficiently encouraged and also to develop other competences uh, uh, with regard to empathy and the, 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 the choice we'll be making and that will also link up with a solidarity so it may also means listening being able to listen to the others very often it's not well it's not happening very often and so we should be able to develop this then through this project in the development of the children what we're trying to do well children well young people let's say uh, adolescents uh, they already have uh, well they did already some uh, a lot of things uh, but it's also looking for the dreams, the dreams inside of them, and to wake up uh, the desire and, um, uh, and to work on their emotions, uh, because emotions, uh, as this particular dimension, uh, that is also coming from our Latin roots, um, and um, that's what we very often forget, but it makes us progress in life, these emotions. And also, whenever you look at a landscape, uh, the, the pleasure also of having achieved something with our hands or with our mind, 
but uh, the, the satisfaction of having accomplished something. Also, you know, keeping uh, the fire kindled, uh, and uh, for those who already made the journey last year, but uh, for them it was something they, they will never forget and they will take along, along their uh, entire life. And to the, the, the dimension of the personal development of the child uh, for us is equally important and uh, uh, as important as the dimension of learning and uh, the development of these intellectual competences, of the know-how, uh, of this knowledge. Um, and it is something, uh, a global thing, because at the same time, we have uh, brain competences, we also have heart, emotional competences, and we have our hands uh, to act, to build. Uh, so it's to enabling these children to be able to develop all these competences and uh, through the weekend, through work during the weekends, and we're able to observe how these youngsters uh, uh, functioned within a group, how they reacted uh, when they were in uh, an uncomfortable situation because we took them to, to, to uh, we did some nautical activities with them. They had to uh, also to sleep uh, rough, uh, uh, donc, um, uh, like the Spartans uh, did, uh, very short nights also. So it didn't get a lot of rest, but how the children could adapt to this situation, that's also something we observed, how they will be capable of living through the separation from the families. Also, this gives you already, um, uh, you can see the, 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 um, the, 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 the attitude when they're separated from the parents, uh, their affections or so that the, their uh, liking for sciences uh, is also the red uh, uh, thread uh, throughout uh, everything because uh, they, they will become perhaps scientific observers, uh, scientists and um, so all the data they will collect will be used uh, then uh, by uh, research workers. So, what we also try to do upstream is, and during this preparatory weekends, it's also observing how these youngsters evolve individually and uh, in a group. Also to recognize their competences, also to, uh, we can encourage them to, uh, to go further and uh, so that's also a judgment we had to make uh, uh, and uh, so we also had to tell some of them that they couldn't continue the adventure but i always uh, wanted to congratulate them uh, for having participated of course during this weekend because it was in between their weeks of study and also to highlight uh, the competences they were able to show rather than telling them no you're not fit to, to participate um, and so we can take you with it. We always uh, try to, to say goodbye, but in a very positive manner and uh, telling them, okay, great, you already reached this level. The choice, of course, is difficult for us, but um, the, as things start, it wouldn't be reasonable to continue with dragging you in this adventure, which is also a responsibility for us, of course. But please continue to capitalize on your comfort, on uh, your competence, and you already have a lot of miles, miles within your hands. So this dimension of encouragement uh, um, should be, can, uh, will be continued on uh, the way throughout your life. And uh, what we have to do also during the project, we have to uh, give them a trust because uh, they will be building, they will be collecting scientific data that then will be used again. And um, also, uh, 
and trusting them with material which is quite expensive and which have to be used in the correct manner to giving them responsibilities in the organization of the expedition and also when collecting data and in the interpretation thereof they will the interpretation of these data so what we teach them is a learning of life and encouraging them to continue going taking everything further uh, uh, going further than what uh, seems to them uh, their maximum their limits so taking them further and that they have an enormous potential which they can further develop so that in a nutshell uh, i hope i gave you an overview of this uh, notion of how we made our choice uh, and um, also uh, we attach great importance to the development of these youngsters these youngsters who will be able to continue the adventure with us thank you valerie so let me continue um, and uh, perhaps also giving the floor to our youngsters within the framework of the summit when you say learning uh, uh, learning uh, i would call it uh, uh, apprentissage in French. First, there's the first part of the word learning, and then uh, tissage, which means uh, wave weaving. And um, and this uh, within the story of the world, uh, this project is uh, really uh, enhancing uh, the, the, the the energy of the world, so that uh, the, the, these ambassadors. Uh, boys and girls really uh, uh, are also capable of seeing the beauty, the splendor of life. And when you're bearing this message, um, well, then you can, uh, 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 like the, the, the words of Abel, to, uh, I started all by myself, but now with 200 of them. So intuition, you can compare this uh, Caponeau with the work of a gardener, a gardener uh, uh, putting some seeds in the ground uh, uh, and then they will finally uh, give a uh, flower bulb, finally this bulb will grow on and on and on, finally will become a piece of fruit. And for Caponeau there's a real question, the question of authority. What do we mean by the word uh, authority? It's not uh, an authority that forces someone to do something. It's an authority that is setting you free. And we are following a kind of horizontally rather than being vertical or a kind of a pyramid structure. So we want to build up a um, development or one on a one-to-one -one basis everyone is uh, on the same uh, play is on this on a level playing field and as we mentioned earlier on uh, we want them uh, to have a view on the real world and here in the social sciences and education the concept of reality is a very important concept indeed between finally dreaming alive uh, having a lot of fantasies through video games, but we have to incarnate this in real life. There's a whole difference between it. And we see this today, the, uh, the, 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 what all these screens can mean. And uh, the, 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 so it's very important to be able uh, to give uh, the youngster the possibility uh, to be in a real world. It's a sensitive world, which is, also vulnerable, it's a word we have to understand and which we have to love in order to protect it. Um, and uh, I can only protect uh, uh, the, the, the things I've taken care of, I've um, made the effort to, to learn more about. And um, to, 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 uh, and to here we entered in the world uh, without nature and to, that's why we have to do something urgently and it's to find back the soil again the, the earth and to come up with something uh, such as a connected society 
also the, the also Valerie talked about the trust, the cooperation, the fact of living together to add up their talents and to encourage one another. And um, this model also I refer to allow me to come back. So knowing yourself, also when listening, the management of your emotions, of our perception of the world, of our aspiration, our dreams, but also trying and find out the dreams of the others and the thoughts of the others, and also learning how to we can or how we can reconnect. In Capono, we have an awareness that the world in which we're living is an open world, a world with a lot of possibility. The world in which we are is not a, a uh, a world uh, totally uh, a world of, of affairs which is totally isolated so it's important that teaching and education should be seen in an open world in a world uh, where we can also build up uh, knowledge in, uh, in in a horizontal way and also multidisciplinary and then also we need, for instance, uh, a sledge. And so we're going to draw it, but then of course this will have to be, or our thoughts will have to be drawn and put to paper. We have to be very rigorous in technology, in drawing, and also when putting uh, uh, this uh, all together. So the class uh, and the teaching can be turned the other way around. So, and uh, we have to step forward to project ourselves uh, and in this movement we're going uh, towards learning we're going towards the young person and uh, the young person will learn and um, i'm very pleased to, to, to tell you this uh, we are in a school model that uh, stops us uh, or that puts a, sometimes a break um, on uh, things. And um, in Capono, our uh, bet is as follows, is to uh, set free uh, potential and energy and allowing young people such as Harmony from Reims, Clément from Saint-Aubin, to position themselves and to be able to face this grand challenge of the climatic deregulation. Also, Lou will speak up afterwards. So it will be the moment, perhaps, either Harmony or Clement to indeed share with us your entry in this adventure. Caponno, what did it generate? Perhaps Harmony, we can see you. So it's a you turn the harmony, you're living in Reims. So what can you share with us? And then we'll give the floor to Clement afterwards. So to start with, I've heard about it because uh, that's my uh, village. Uh, we were talking about that in my village. We were a hundred children in the village and we went to a conference, a lecture, an appointment to explain what we were going to do at the beginning. I thought it was only a travel. And so I was very happy to say, OK, I'm going to travel. But uh, in fact, it was not only about traveling. There was a research and uh, that we will be connected to the living world to understand the climate change. And I found it really great because these are not things that we are used to do uh, at home. So I attended the preparations during the weekends. And uh, I was uh, able to meet people that I, I would never have met before. For instance, I have a friends and now in my village and uh, I think um, if I 
wouldn't have uh, been there, I wouldn't have the same values I have today. And uh, if I compare the values I have now and the values uh, of my friends, we don't have the same uh, values. So I was very happy to understand the um, world surrounding me um, instead of staying home and not understanding nothing, understanding climate change and uh, the consequences. And I think this is uh, really, really great. Um, now we'll, we'll hear Clément from uh, Saint Thomas. So how did you live this uh, adventure, Cap au Nord? I was very happy. When uh, I heard about the project, I heard about the project in the nature and I really liked that. And then I heard that it, there was a possibility to learn about marine biology and that's what I want to do later on. And so I think, okay, I need to register there. And from the start, we met a lot of people uh, that we knew or not, and we met adults who are not thinking uh, like our uh, teachers or educators. And I've had the opportunity to follow this adventure from one weekend to another, and I was very happy because I had the opportunity to go on the mission to understand climate change because we heard about climate change on TV, on the radio, but we don't have the real images. We don't know what's happening concretely. And uh, uh, during uh, this mission, we'll be able to see what's happening on the ground. Thank you to both of you. Harmony, in your life uh, as a teenager, was there a period before and after Caponort? Has something changed in your life today? I understood several things, but I wouldn't be able to explain because this is not something I am used to. I mean, I connected with the other and as I said where I am living I have friends but it's not the same thing I don't have the same relationship with them it's uh, with the others it's as if I could share things with the people I don't know I have seen them maybe three times really appreciate each other but uh, I don't know them so well as I know my friends. And what is strange is that we share the same values with these people, and I shared a lot of a lot of things. The fact of uh, going away, as uh, we'll do, not many people are interested in doing so, and I think it's a pity because when you don't have a preparation where when you're not aware of everything, you don't enjoy your travel. And we were well informed, and uh, this preparation allowed us to really understand and enjoy our travel. This was really an added value. And this was really important for raising awareness. And um, I think uh, this is very important, Clément. I think you were talking about a scientific culture and through the, the, the training until the departure, you are speaking about a knowledge uh, thanks to this training. And at Cap au Nord, I think uh, at school there is a lack of scientific culture, 
Uh, we've seen that uh, during the two years of pandemics because we had experts of everything and nothing at the same time. I think today it's important to understand and uh, going understanding sciences, having a scientific reflection. I think this is important because this will allow us uh, to build arguments in order to try to find the truth and trying to reject what is not true. What uh, you have been sharing is very important since you're new in this adventure. So Clément, uh, in Saint Thomas, was there a period before and a period after this uh, adventure, before we were aware, okay, we were selecting the waste and making some efforts, but now it's totally different. Before, uh, we were saying, okay, a compost, it's not useful if I am the only one to do it. And now I understand that every single action has its importance. And uh, uh, for instance, instead of uh, buying uh, small jars of um, um, apple compote, we'll take uh, uh, um, a largest jar in order to avoid pollution. And so both of you are going to um, travel in two months. So, Clément, in which scientific domain are you going to work? I don't know. You didn't uh, receive all the information? No, not yet. Okay, probably you will know it soon. How many you will be working in glaciology? So we'll study the glaciers. So we'll climb on the glacier. We'll use data linked to climatology. And we'll also make a model and we'll compare all the pictures that have been taken before, the, during the years before. Okay. Sometimes we have trucks saying, okay, but uh, wouldn't you be able to deploy these projects on a local level without going so far? But since uh, the existence of Capo North. So for three years now, I am uh, the testimony to, to say that each ambassador, has a family and also a classroom, a school, a region, a town hall, a municipality, a local journalist. And so everyone is involved in this adventure as Armani said, is not a travel, is not about holidays, but is a, an expedition trying to understand what's happening on the ground. Harmony, you said an important thing when you said that uh, we'll work with data. This data will be sent directly to a digital platform in open source. All people who are interested in this project will be able to check the data, will be able to access the platform to check the graphs and compare them to the previous years as far as the temperatures are concerned. There will also be on this platform uh, comparisons of pictures of glaciers and will be able to see the, the, the lack of ice. How many, Valérie, Clément, 
When we think about climate change, are we sad and desperate about this situation? Maybe Valérie and uh, after Harmony and Clément. Valérie, when we know what's happening, when we have learned, when we have read the um, GIEC report, Uh, is it vain to to fight against climate change? No, absolutely not. I think uh, we have to raise awareness to be aware of uh, what's happening. And as uh, Pierre Ravi said, we are all responsible as uh, the Colibri. And if uh, everyone pays attention to the management of waste, to switch off the lights, to avoid having uh, devices on standby, to, to have a flexible mobility. So these are small things that we can do and uh, thanks to which will make a small difference in the good direction. And this is interesting to see that in the last uh, uh, report is that we can still make a difference. Of course, we'll need to act in a radical way to change our uh, on to change the power supplies to change the production of energy but these are actions on the long term but we all have the means to make a difference to to, to help change the situation and we need to support young people we need to raise awareness because we know that raising awareness um, for the for adults is going through through uh, the teenagers the teenagers have an uh, a power of action on adults that is really huge, more than they can imagine. So by working with these young people who have, uh, who are ambassadors and who will go and speak out in their schools, in their classrooms, uh, who will speak about what they will have seen, measured the data, these are all small drops that will try to avoid the, the, the planet to be on fire. And so I am very positive because I think man is not mad enough to auto-destruct uh, it's him or herself, himself. Harmony, what about your uh, mindset? I think we shouldn't be sad about the planet. Of course it is sad, but we need to think uh, on going forward. We need to take actions instead of looking at the time passing by. And with the time, we'll take on actions, we'll do things in order to change the, 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 the situation, in order to change our consumption. We need to be uh, cautious uh, every day. And, but we need to take action because if we don't do anything, it's like, it's as if uh, we would be participating in uh, climate change because uh, the climate, climate change has uh, always been there, but now it has been accelerated by, by uh, the pollution and uh, the human activity. And so I think we need to take uh, actions 
to 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 and not uh, only saying things without doing anything. Clément, are you rather full of hope or sad? I think that now that we have damaged uh, the earth, we won't be able to go backwards, but we need to take care of it because if we think it's too late, we can't do anything anymore, then we won't be able to change the state of the planet. And it's always better to try to do something than um, waiting for someone to do it. And so we need to take actions now. I think even if the, the, the planet has been damaged, we can still uh, do some good for it. We had a question of Dominique asking why such a project with all uh, researchers from uh, the National uh, Education Ministry uh, is uh, not encompassing such uh, this uh, change. So, uh, so we are not a huge structure. We are, you are right, but at the same time, we need to focus on the fact that uh, we'll receive the agreement from the National uh, Education Ministry. I received an email yesterday in this direction. I think this is uh, a question of uh, knowledge, a knowledge of the world, of the principles of life. And I think that today, and we can be very happy about that, many men, political men and women, are aware of the fact that we'll need to adopt an integral ecology by integrating, by focusing on the, 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 the living bodies and to have uh, an acceptable quality of life. So here is it for uh, this uh, first hour. Yes, Clément, you have uh, a question. I just wanted to say that I have uh, already begun my uh, role as an ambassador because I, am, uh, I will register my classroom because uh, one of my teachers is uh, really interested in these lessons and uh, will make a lesson for 50 people, will raise awareness for these 50 people and maybe these 50 people will raise awareness uh, among other people. So uh, the, the knowledge and the information will be conveyed. Thank you, Clément. Yes, so if we had to answer the question, what is an ambassador? It's about conveying a message, raising awareness. Even before the expedition, there is a week um, on the oceans animated by two oceanographs oceanographs and this uh, lecture is uh, free for all the schools in France and in Europe. You have the possibility to register for this week and uh, Abel, I will uh, share the links. Uh, maybe it uh, could be interesting to launch pictures or video. Maybe Maybe we'll listen to a young ambassador who went on uh, an expedition in 2020 and she will share her experience. Lou? Hi, everyone. 
So I'm going to tell you my expedition. So I was very interested in glaciology. I went on the expedition with uh, four friends and on the ground, we understand that the ice is melting faster than uh, when we think. Even with a simple scientific protocol, we can see a lot of things. And I was uh, very struck by that. And in anthropology, when we went to see the inhabitants, many inhabitants told us that for them, climate change was not so important since they think it was a, a general event as uh, storms or eruptions. And they were not so concerned by this uh, phenomenon. They are not afraid of it. And they f besides, they fear that for the macareux, so the birds, uh, who are uh, the, the, the emblem of the island. So the Atlantic puffings. So the document is present, you, Abel, you will be able to uh, share it uh, with all the participants. And I take also this opportunity to underline that the ambition for schools, the society and the planet is not only about uh, French regions. If I am in Switzerland for the moment, it's in order to integrate uh, uh, a young worker to the a young worker or a young teenager to the next expedition and but if someone on the internet wants to um, take part to the, the, the project and send a student to the expedition it's possible Je l'ai là sur le sur le bureau, mais il y a beaucoup d'écrits. Mais on peut on peut dérouler facilement. D'accord. Qui peut aussi être. Ok. Then uh, I will show you some uh, picture. Pas de problème. Pictures. J'en profite en, en attendant les images. And the waiting for the pictures. I will also share a synergy of Caponor. So young people are explaining that it is uh, about simple actions, but we also need to uh, have uh, to, to be in contact with the, the environments and the authorities and you also have to know that a teenager that will go uh, to the pastry of the village uh, will say, okay, I have a project and how will you able to help me? And here also with, with all these years, we understood that solidarity, generosity was uh, really present. Uh, among the people surrounding us more than uh, in large companies. So we just needed to write a, a file to receive a lot of money. No, it's not going this way. It's uh, happening in another way. And this dynamic, this enthusiasm, this generosity, this solidarity is creating a link. 
it's as if we had uh, small um, drops of water creating rivers. Each territory with one or two ambassadors is uh, uh, acting in solidarity, logistically, financially, which means that each territory, for instance, uh, Harmony is uh, from uh, Reims, um, the town will finance her travel and uh, the, the whole region will provide uh, equipment. Harmony went to the Rotary Club de, from Reims uh, and uh, the Rotary Club decided to offer all the equipment. So each ambassador could uh, explain how the, the, the town, how the region helped them in order to enjoy this uh, wonderful adventure and uh, helping them financially. Of course, uh, this is a bit expensive, but not so much when we see so many people helping the ambassador who will give 10, 20, up to 50 euros. Uh, I went in uh, Brittany uh, recently um, and I proposed to share the film in the town and an old woman just gave me a check for Caponor. So as you can see, people are really generous because we are helping people, we are serving people and uh, some people are really generous and uh, want to intervene and help us. And we are not talking about large companies uh, we think about at the beginning. No, there is a real pool of uh, generosity of uh, people who are ready to help us, helping uh, schools, helping the society and helping the planet. So uh, maybe we can go and see the uh, next picture, the next uh, PowerPoint, okay. The next slide. So these are slides that will be a synthesis of what has been said. We uh, have a partnership with the APEX. APEX are French researchers who are going to help Clément. Clément will be accompanied by a researcher uh, from next week on, and uh, the researcher won't be paid. So Apex will soon organize a week dedicated to understanding the oceans. They have created uh, an extraordinary webinar for all the schools in France in order to explain scientific content. Could you explain what APEX is? What does that mean? APEX is an association. I, I don't know. It's an association of polar researchers. You, will, you can check Apex France and uh, you will see different uh, researchers, young polar researchers who are willing to offer to as many young people, as many teenagers as possible, their understanding of the planet. Next slide, please. So acting together, doing together, learning together. So we are in a definition of uh, cooperation. It's always better to succeed all together than to succeed alone. And uh, in our uh, school institution, in my school, I saw uh, teachers who uh, are facing difficulties in working together. Uh, they rather focus on the best pupil of the class uh, 
So yes, there is a huge work to make without judging the others. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, Sophie is uh, Harmony's mother and uh, she puts the, the definition of Apex. So we were talking about one direction, one paradigm, a will, a will and an answer. We are listening to uh, the planet and to the will of the children. So we can think, yeah, Philippe Nicolas, can you speak about, uh, uh, can you explain how do you listen to the planet? I was in charge of um, managing a river with the migratory fish, fishes. Uh, three or four years ago, this river was full of waste, plastic bottles, and uh, the spaces where the salmons were weren't uh, clean. And with some friends, we spent some time on this uh, part of this river, 900 meters, and today it's a small treasure. We can see uh, the salmons, uh, migratory fishes. We planted uh, some uh, flowers, and I can say that uh, when we go to this river with my family, we have this feeling of uh, being home all together. And I'd like to say that uh, someone uh, who will help life on Earth will be refunded in a certain way. If you help the planet, then the planet will help you. And this is wonderful. Every year, we have a hundred young people who, wants, who want to register to the expedition and try to and better understand climate change. It's also an opportunity uh, for me to explain why I don't take more teenagers. We have 16 young people and nine adults so it's already a lot, and so we can't extend our group. But what we can do is that we can uh, repeat it again and try to have other teenagers going there. So what about the uh, Cap au Nord paradigm? Well, we can skip that because I already touched upon that. This is a really nice picture taken by Jean-Michel Lutin, anthropologist uh, for the project. These are Inuit uh, young girls. That's a picture that has been taken in a village in Greenland. And so what is at stake with Capo Nord is that we uh, try to understand the traditions of um, these uh, civilizations because we have to understand that in order to ensure the future of uh, this territory because we need to live with nature. So, as you can see, the uh, next year, anthropology will be the priority. So Kapanar is a steering committee, a pedagogical uh, committee with Valérie, Edouard Stack, Isabelle Pelou. Uh, is part of this um, innovative pedagogical committee. We have pioneer territories with uh, one representative, for instance, Sivri, Reims, uh, we have an ambassador, Harmony, but also Pierre. And in the resources, we have Sophie, Lynn, uh, who's doing an extraordinary work, and also a, 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 a local representative. And that's the same structure for all the territories. And we also have an elected representative from the town hall who will help for the, 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 the structure and the administrative parts. 
we are also organizing integration weekends in the nature. Uh, it's about a travel uh, exploration modules, a pedagogical platform, which is in open source and will help to process all uh, climate data. I am working in Paris uh, at the heart of uh, large companies. And uh, when I saw the, the beginning of uh, this platform, it was a success for me because this will help all the other pupils remaining here who are interested, involved in these uh, questions about climate change to better understand, to enter this platform and to see what's happening in real time, um, all the data, and uh, they will also reflect more on climate change. And so we have uh, also we also have uh, uh, other places, third places uh, helping us. So we also have boats. We have we are making films and uh, films on uh, different uh, different projects on whales and other things. We have a film named Cap Fantastic, uh, raising awareness for schools uh, on the planets. We have also the support, and I am very proud about that, of Philippe Merieux, with uh, his uh, concept of uh, educability, because each child has a potential, each child can succeed. This is really important. We need to underline that. And when uh, we see a teacher saying, we, can, we can't do anything with him or her, but we need to say to this teacher, you need to go back to your training and understand this concept. Philippe Merieux also said, we need to um, have our personal story seen in the global world. And it's true because the objective of Cap Honor is to have all these teenagers taking part to the global story. This year, we don't have Nicolas Vanier, but uh, Artus uh, Bertrand, who's supporting the project. And uh, Artus, uh, all these uh, the teenagers will meet Artus Bertrand. So what about the pioneer territories? We will skip because I touched upon that already. So the, the researchers who are implied, who are involved, sorry, we'll skip that. Okay. Integration weekends, we'll just see the pictures. Okay, next. So as you can see, we have uh, two base camp, one that will happen on Ime Island, uh, dedicated to uh, marine biology. And uh, in between, we have uh, four volcanologists, uh, Ludovic Leduc, Augustin Villard, who will have uh, two exploration time to understand volcanism. And if we can have a link between these uh, volcans and uh, climate change, that's the newest uh, thing uh, to this uh, year. And also in uh, uh, Iceland, uh, we'll see the uh, second uh, star near Solemajokul, uh, the, the, the volcano. And there we'll study the, the, the volcano and the, all the glaciers. And during this uh, travel, this expedition, we'll have uh, the opportunity 
to make the bathymetry of uh, the uh, lake. So we'll try to measure the depth of the lake. Okay, we can skip that. And this is uh, the book for the expedition. Each ambassador will have a book for the expedition. It's, uh, it's, like, it's like a roadmap for the expedition. And uh, this book will be sent uh, soon to all our teenagers. And uh, I am conveying messages to Harmony, Clément and Lou. And uh, here we have a concrete example about this uh, pedagogy helping the teenagers. That's the vision of uh, Manon, who uh, thought about a robotic uh, system. On the platform, we have concrete examples of uh, what's happening and uh, interesting but technical examples. And so all these data will be transformed in uh, data and uh, in cartography, in mapping. The film will be made by Bertrand Liberty. So, yeah, you can skip that, Abel. Thank you. And so here we have a concrete example about uh, uh, how the adults are supporting teenagers, explaining uh, the different modules. So having a vision is already being in the conception. So the realization of these models didn't, uh, were not made by uh, teenagers, but well by engineers and robotic technicians. Here is an example on the right, a model of a hydrophone allowing to register the, the uh, sounds and the sea. And so, uh, <clears throat> last year there was an immense joy and, and uh, they were able to, to court the, 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 uh, the, the, the sounds uh, of what was going on under sea level. And so, uh, you you put the, the hydrophone at a distance decided before, and then uh, you saw the uh, mammals. So you, you could listen to them. That's what Myra discovered last year. And then, um, yes, you can go over this a little bit technical. And then here, we have the understanding of what could happen on the drawing, the programming 3D to being able that the youngsters uh, evaluate with the, uh, their, uh, the, the, their different appliances. Uh, also, the, the water on the right-hand side, the fact of being on the, on the spot uh, so they can discover things by themselves. Um, and uh, so perhaps, perhaps you could say a few words uh, uh, whom you are today and what you did afterwards. Uh, so here on page 28, you have a camera on uh, that uh, will take pictures at certain intervals. Um, and then the pictures can also be accelerated. You can see the speed at which or, or what is happening if the glass glacier uh, moves, because we're not a glacier. Of course, you hear grinding. Uh, it's a it's something alive. Um, 
these are micro movements with the time lapse uh, will give this possibility and will give you an idea that the glacier is really moving. Um, on the right hand side, um, you have an example of this hydrophobe uh, and um, who is going to try and detect uh, underwater sounds. Uh, for those who will have uh, the possibility of uh, watching the movie, um, you will be particularly paying attention to the time uh, when uh, in the territory, so whenever you plunge or put into the water, the hydro phone, you will hear the, 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 um, the whales, but also the ship's noise. And But how can we human beings, that was her reaction, how can we pollute such a, an area of life which is not ours? So the, the reaction was extraordinary. It's a young girl, 12 years old, and... Um, what she heard uh, on the spot, she became aware also of the deregulation, the climate deregulation. But man was very intrusive, uh, even destructing uh, natural life. Then we can go on. Here uh, we have different uh, measuring modules. On the left hand side, you have a small. Uh, meteorological station with a solar balloon and that will uh, help us uh, to uh, register temperatures and all these data of course will be uh, transmitted to the platform then also the time-lapse camera then the time-lapse camera here in the middle uh, the one I refer to which will be able to give us uh, uh, um, an insight in the movement uh, of the glacier and also the hydrophone also capturing the temperature of the water. Just uh, why is it important to today to bring in this technology in uh, the oceans? Uh, because uh, understanding that the ocean is also regulating the climate, uh, very little people are aware of what is happening. And this is also one of the main items uh, of uh, the expedition. We want to, our youngsters to understand, so if there's a, a global warming of the Earth, uh, the ocean will warm up as well. And uh, this will have consequences uh, on the uh, corals, uh, in uh, the, the, the different oceans um, and uh, this is also uh, disturbing the ocean streams. You see that the, 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 the week of oceanography uh, with Caponeau and with Aplomont pour apporter des contenus scientifiques pour comprendre ce qui se passe is showing what is uh, happening and how we have to react. Uh, then if you go back just a little bit, Balu, what is uh, Balu? Well, it's a small a whale. Uh, which is also one of the... Um, which is also part of the expedition. You have an hydro a phone. And uh, so here people can hear the sound uh, and uh, this uh, can be used uh, because we don't want to upset what is uh, going around uh, near the, the, the whales or in the water. So here we can move around uh, and uh, listen to the sounds. Uh, thank you. Um, and uh, finally, we've withdrawn uh, it because it wasn't big enough and I, a big fish could have taken it as a prey and we would have, we would have been embarrassed if a whale ate our hydrophone. Here it's also a little bit technical, it's on the captors, on capturing temperatures, etc. Here you have Marceau with the hydrophone Lou talked about 
also Ben, and the two marine biologists uh, who were able to come uh, with us, with Vienola, uh, with uh, their sailing boat. Um, that was July 21. Now then, going a little bit backwards, uh, perhaps we were too fast. Uh, yes, yes. So here we talked about um, about the base camp, and the base camp, uh, it's uh, our main tent that will serve as uh, a room for our meals together. Also then the smaller tents, three, uh, uh, that could house uh, three, uh, people each time and uh, also on the picture you can see that we are all equipped uh, uh, with the same trousers the same uh, uh, jacket so there's a total a synergy of the territory um, here it's the rotary club uh, of sarcel uh, near my place who wanted to offer all the necessary equipment to the 14 ambassadors and to the adults uh, who participated. So it's the Rotary wanted to show its solidarity also and um, and wanted to offer scientific uh, equipment uh, and uh, also, also uh, participating in the, the purchase uh, of a drone with camera. So I'm going, Lou also, who is on the pictures, Lou, uh, you can make a few comments of what you've learned and what you've seen. Well, here you see the glaciers. You see that, uh, that there are there is black powder. Well, these are ashes, volcano ashes. Uh, that goes back to 1907 before there was ice it was covered but we were explained that with the global warming that the ice melted and that we find then the, the volcanic ashes uh, dating from the eruption on the at the bottom you see the glacial lake um, which is huge which is quite big and uh, also the the, the uh, then on the far right, we are uh, near the glacier, and um, that's where we saw the scientific protocol. It's a, it's a very easy one. It's a metal bar that is attached to a uh, to a rope and when it melts it's going deeper and deeper into the ice uh, and uh, so we can see how the, 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 the ice level descended sorry I'm but once it was uh, mentioned it was in July but the height uh, how much yes it uh, two to four meters uh, it's important um, because uh, you're honoring us uh, to uh, mention all this. It's a real, this protocol between May and uh, July, the, the, the glacier lost four meters in height uh, between May and July. This is enormous. Uh, the fact if you touch it, if you experiment it for yourself, you can no longer be... Uh, 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 septic about it it's a, a fact and we have to react the digital platform we already mentioned that um, which is an open source it's available for everyone and uh, to, to better understand in real time what is going on and also the different actions and missions that are undertaken by the uh, ambassadors of Capo no. Of course, uh, there are those who participate in the expedition, but there are also the team who didn't go on the expedition, who remained at, who stayed at home, 
And this platform, digital platform, was always was also financed with a view to explore the territory. There is a lot of resources in the Ile de France. The project of the platform came forth uh, out of 720 projects. And here we can also uh, have a look. Uh, these are only projects uh, that uh, mention uh, the ecological transition. Uh, well, perhaps, yes, come back, uh, setting up uh, the uh, compost, uh, the well and bell favoring. Uh, using your bicycles, then uh, sorting out, and then also uh, better understanding. These four projects uh, were forced out of 400, 720 projects. So as far as the regions are concerned, there are people, men and women politicians, who are aware that all this uh, will serve ecology and the transition we're going through and you've uh, understood of course that there is no transition possible without an educational transition if it doesn't start uh, from the very early age there will be no ecological transition then we can come to the next uh, slide here uh, you see the visualization number eight uh, it's what uh, our youngsters are going to do they are going to follow uh, the uh, experts in dealing with glaciers and um, so they're going to compare with what happened 30 years ago they're going to have a look of what happened in 30 years time yes um, no comments can go on yes you can continue so we, this is the last slide um, and then you will be able to ask questions if there are and yes, there are. Uh, here, you have to become aware, we hope so, that you became aware. I'm talking on behalf of the entire team of Capo no, It's a really an adventure at the service of the school, the school that needs uh, this educational transition also uh, for education, for environmental and ecological transition. A society that will uh, consume uh, less, uh, and also the surface of a planet, a planet uh, that is only waiting for one thing, that we love it, and that uh, we uh, are less and less predators. Pascal is also, why do I have an echo? Yes, Pascal says that she also worked on the restoration of rivers, and that this can go very fast. So to restore a river. Yes, indeed, indeed. And uh, Abel, it's uh, great that you underline this. Uh, and uh, it's not only doing instead of, uh, but it's uh, just to, to let the living person take in his place. It's, a, um, it's a, an example of uh, being a humble, and um, so what is your best uh, souvenir of this expedition? Well, my best souvenir that uh, we made a detour because we saw a, a volcano in eruption and that really uh, um, really draw, uh, drew my attention because uh, I never uh, saw a volcano in action. It's quite impressive. And, uh, and uh, because I only saw it on pictures uh, until then. Pascal says that she's also working uh, uh, with the music. Uh, she also uh, puts these little microphones on the plants and the, the vibration of the plants uh, are also being recorded. Uh, 
And she said that there are some experiments uh, done uh, with uh, aquatic, uh, with water plants. Uh, yeah, the good news is uh, that we're also uh, there and following up the work of Aurora. It's Aurora, isn't it? No, no, Pascal, Pascal, sorry. So when earlier on I announced uh, that we are in an open and friendly world, well, in an open and friendly world, uh, uh, also a sound world where it's good to... To, to live, so why can't we celebrate uh, uh, with the fauna and flora? What do we wait to, to celebrate all this? Um, so what do we wait? Uh, why don't to celebrate life uh, and also for our young people for the future generations? And are you showing the little film presenting the project? Yes, indeed. You can uh, launch launch it. Yeah, you can go on for another three minutes. Uh, so, Lynn, are you there? So, perhaps uh, you could uh, echo, uh, if you want to, of course, uh, uh, how you uh, lived through this experiment uh, of Capo Nord. Hello, everyone. Sophie, as a uh, mother, you also the head of a project in Reims. Uh, how, uh, how could you adhere to uh, Capone? Well, I believe that the parents and the children. Wait a minute. Um, there's an echo, so I'm just closing something there. Sorry for that. So, uh, that at the basis, uh, it was Valerie underlined this, uh, that uh, when the young children, even those who will become ambassador, and uh, also who will not be responsible or participating in the expedition, I believe there's already an education, there is already an awareness um, uh, perhaps it's not uh, yet uh, running for 100 percent but youngsters are already aware and we cannot you cannot uh, enroll your child uh, if uh, you don't have this uh, if you are uh, a negative attitude and uh, that you think that nothing can help or you can do anything so you don't become part of this kind of a project if you think everything is uh, lost already, then you can't. Um, and the first time, it's a parallel when we were young and when we listened to, uh, to children who left on a boat for 18 months, they said, it's for the others, not for us. But today, today, it's uh, on our doorstep. So we have to grab this opportunity. Uh, if it will certainly bring something to the children. We shouldn't miss the boat. Uh, and, um, and I believe that the children who continue and who persevere and who finally leave, these are children that are intimately convinced and that become aware of their beliefs which they have inside of them, but not necessarily um, expressed. It's a very nice testimony, Harmony. And all the energy, giving endless energy, where does it come from? Day after day, where does it come from? As I mentioned, I believe it's a kind of the, the education I was educated uh, in, in a... Uh, uh, in a family with different brothers and sisters. Uh, and, uh, some people, some of them continue to study. Some said, no, it's not for me, it's too difficult. But what do we want for our children? But we're coming back uh, always to the earth. Uh, and now I'm going uh, to take a step backwards. And it's this awareness. Once you've uh, changed it, whenever you say that I'm going to get back to my garden, then uh, at a certain time, when you were 18, for instance, you never thought that would you get back into your garden again before you threw away everything. There was an overconsumption. 
And today we're all asking ourselves the question, it's also part of the evolution. And um, we have the luck, I have the luck uh, uh, to, to learn this 20 years ago. So today I have children and when this kind of a project knocks on your door, you just grasp, you go for it. Um, but how many parents, uh, well, many parents tell me, why, you're right, why didn't we uh, do this as well? A lot of parents are telling us, but we would like to be in that place. Sophie, did you find uh, did you find the film Abel? Okay, then you can send it. Voir que ça a pris des milliers et des milliers de nests formés et que en si peu de temps, bah, ça peut partir hyper vite, que ça fait vraiment peur. Après, tu te dis, bah, en fait, est-ce que ça va vraiment changer Est-ce que ça peut changer Ou est-ce que bah, ça va juste s'aggraver euh, Les courants marais sont prêts à disparaître. Et ça, euh, s'ils disparaissent, c'est très mauvais pour nous. Le pari du projet, c'est d'apprendre à vivre ensemble, d'apprendre à chercher ensemble et de prendre à contre-pied la compétition, la comparaison, l'égoïsme, la sélection. Wesh Chaque fois que je touche la table, ça fait tout bouger, ça aussi. Euh, C'est vraiment intéressant, non pas d'avoir la bonne réponse, mais d'être dans une démarche qui va, à un moment donné, faire le tri entre ce qui est vrai et ce qui n'est pas vrai. Quand la nouvelle dit « Well, there's climate change and here are the proofs. » Je ne crois pas. Tu ne crois pas à tout Bullshit. Bullshit, all right. Ça m'a vraiment rendu compte que du coup, bah, tout le monde n'était pas alerté par le réchauffement climatique. Si on veut faire avancer les choses, c'est important d'en parler. Moi, je suis fan depuis que je suis toute petite de pierre et je ne m'imaginais pas voir un volcan en éruption. La découverte de paysages incroyables, la découverte de la beauté aussi de la nature, ça passe par l'émotionnel et du coup, forcément, ça donne envie d'agir. Les jeunes se seront transformés en matière de connaissance d'eux-mêmes, de connaissance des autres, de connaissance du monde. Et est-ce que c'est pas ça la véritable école bah Écoute, Abel, c'était vraiment point nommé parce qu'on on est vraiment... So, Abel. This is a wonderful synthesis uh, between uh, all our teenagers. Um, Lou has already uh, lived this adventure and uh, now Harmony and uh, Clément will um, travel soon. Some questions maybe? Someone said Someone said uh, that she was uh, doing. She was doing uh, cleaning the, 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 the rivers with the uh, magnets, and this was working. That's Clément, Clément who wrote that in the chat. Um, so for those who are listening to us, do you have uh, reactions on this, uh, this story, this project? Uh, many people are uh, thanking you for what you do. And... I am the first uh, to thank you, Philippe, uh, to thank you, Valérie, to put that into place. Um, when I uh, met Philippe, I was the first to say, okay, I'd like to, 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 to go there myself. I think this is uh, an opportunity to have this summit to repeat the possibility to bring knowledge and to be able to register teenagers who would like uh, to go with us uh, will change territory for next year but we open uh, our groups and uh, 
maybe some uh, others, uh, some other teenagers, will be able to 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 join this uh, expedition. Oui, bah justement, je, je voulais rebondir parce que il yeah. euh, y avait eu un, dans le fil un commentaire de Aurore. There was a comment from uh, Aurore saying that it was very interesting and uh, that we would like to replicate this uh, project uh, elsewhere. If the project is um, addressing what's happening on the ground, we can replicate it elsewhere, and that's uh, really the, the, the concept of uh, Carponor. The objective uh, is to convey knowledge. We organize uh, this, uh, this uh, travel, but you can all organize such, uh, such expeditions uh, in the forest or near a lake, in the nature, and everyone can uh, think about it with uh, creativity because that's a call for creativity for everyone to become author and uh, entrepreneur for the protection of the planet. And that's... Uh, and uh, I also want to, 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 to recall the, the, the comment of Sophie. We don't need to fear, because if we fear, we won't take action. In fact, we need actions, and it's better to take a, a little action rather than uh, staying there and uh, full of fears. Thank you, Harmonie. Thank you, Valérie. Thank you, Clément. Harmonie, Clément, and Lou. We have uh, still uh, some minutes left. Uh, Harmonie, would you like to share something? I just wanted to add that I'm very happy to, uh, to go on this expedition with uh, Caponor and I thank you, I thank all the organizers. I'm very happy because I met uh, many, many people and I was pleased to do that and we'll uh, go in uh, this expedition and for me, I couldn't believe that because uh, we still need to, to go there and uh, thanks to the preparation it's already a dream that will come true Abel, tu as euh, Abel. sur la toile tu as une ancienne euh, you have uh, Lou a pioneer and Harmony and Clément these are the teenagers who will be on stage for the film uh, Clément in Normandy and Harmony in uh, Reims. And Bertrand Liberty, the producer, will create this new film and will show that in within the school there is an awareness raising thanks to passionate teachers um, who are working in favor of uh, the um, transition in education. Clément, I want to thank all the team and all the people who succeed in organizing this uh, summit for uh, the future of uh, the education of the future. And Valérie told me that I was... Uh, um, in the um, marine biology and so I am very very happy so that I will have a glance uh, in the domain I want to, to study later on and I was going to, 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 to say that to you you will have Didier Komelec and I will be with you in um, the uh, marine biology group and so you see, Abel, we are announcing very positive messages. And Lou, what do you want to say? 
I want to thank Caponeur because it's a project allowing children to travel, to go on this expedition, and it's not because many people are staying here or uh, many people won't go with, uh, with us that they can't do something to help the planet. Abel, you wanted to say something? Yes, Aurore is living in Togo. She has a school project. And uh, if you have a project on deforestation in Africa, she can help you in order to, to set up uh, some things. Uh, so we'll answer Aurore and uh, we'll see what we can do. So we have nine minutes left. Moi aussi de, de montrer euh, de la gratitude pour ce I really want to thank you for this wonderful summit you organized. You were very inspired and uh, you obey this uh, inspiration in order to create this wonderful summit. I am very happy to see uh, the, the teenagers uh, from Caponeur. Uh, Normally, we should have had uh, four more teenagers, but Anne-Sophie being ill, she wasn't able to help us. And uh, so, thank you, Harmony. Thank you, Clément, for all your words, uh, for your hope. And uh, we need to take actions. So we need to understand your words. And to help you, we need to support you in your actions. That's our role. And I have a quote that I like particularly. That's a quote of René Char, who's reminding us uh, the, the sense of life. Uh, he says, you have to impose your opportunity to embrace your happiness and you have uh, to face your risk. By looking at you, they will get used to you. And so I think we'll be very happy um, to, 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 to make this travel and others will begin to understand what we are doing. So thank you, Philippe. Thank you, Valérie. I hope this will inspire other actors um, in the field of education to also make uh, impossible projects uh, like yours. And uh, during this summit, I really wanted to invite inspiring people in the world, in the system. Uh, we had speakers from India, from the US, uh, who are doing incredible things. And I think it was uh, important to underline that. So I was uh, very happy to have you today. And uh, thank you for sharing your experience with us. And I hope uh, your project uh, will inspire other people. And uh, now, after, we'll... Uh, Switch to Philippe. We still have uh, some uh, minutes. Uh, Clément, I think that your mother is near you. Maybe she can share her, ex her vision, how she's living things. Bonjour. Yes, uh, hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's a wonderful project um, so that children have the opportunity to show uh, what uh, they are able to do. Um, sometimes they just have, uh, they, they are going to school and that's all. And here they have this opportunity, they have this opportunity to show what they can do uh, for the future. Clément is very interested in nature and um, when I heard about the project, uh, I directly thought about him, and uh, he does. Um, he is very interested in uh, this uh, preparation weekends. Uh, he does a kayak in order to train. 
for this expedition. Le week-end 7 et 8, c'est un week-end dédié aux adultes qui va être sous le... And we'll have a next weekend based on nature focused uh, in saint Aubin on 6, 7 and 8 May. So we will train as you did, Clément, with Pierre-Yves. And we'll see for the uh, Ascension weekend, we'll see each other in Normandy. We'll uh, check also for uh, the logistical parts. We'll meet uh, in Pampon in the scientific uh, station where we'll begin to repeat uh, uh, what you will have, what you will need to learn uh, to go on these uh, expeditions. So, We'll have we'll spend two wonderful weekends together with wonderful people. I don't know Abel who said that uh, we are um, human beings in need of relationships. We yeah, we need relationships and we can do impossible projects and that's uh, That's life. Uh, another presence of life has been proved by the scientists. And uh, we need to take care of the planet uh, because of that. And I am convinced uh, on that about that. I am in Switzerland uh, to help Caponor. I will give a lecture this evening in a village uh, We met a new school, and with Lou, we saw um, the curiosity in children. All children are ready to uh, overcome the challenge of climate change. And I think uh, children are more ready than adults to take up the challenge. So, um, you have to impose your opportunity and uh, to embrace your happiness. Uh, so, the quote of uh, René Char, thank you to all the participants uh, during these two hours. I would like uh, to respect the time, and I really want to say good luck for the rest of uh, the summit and to thank you on behalf of the Caponor uh, team. Thank you, Harmony, Lou, Clément, thank you, Philippe, thank you, Valérie. Thank you for sharing your experience.